Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. I have been getting a lot of things from Bromwe lately and that means we're gonna be reading Bromwe's goth section again. I know you loved that video so I thought I could do this one more time because I think there are new things that are super beautiful that you might enjoy as well. Before we start I just want to say that I got all these things gifted by them but that doesn't mean that I'm getting paid to do this video or that I, I'm gonna tell you everything's amazing because you know in the past there have been things I hated and I told you. So let's get started with the dress that I am wearing. It looks like that on the web. And it looks like this on me. I really like this one. I've got to say, this is one of the few black velvet dresses I have from them that fits me because usually their sizes run quite big and they only go down to a size S for most of their items. So it's a little bit difficult for me to find a good fit on the web. But this time I think this is like really good. Now, other than the size, I think this size is really, really nice. I love the sleeves. They are completely made of lace two different types of lace and they're quite wide and I think they're super flattering. Obviously this is not the best summer dress but we're gonna get into more summer things later on. Now all things considered I'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10. I really love it and I have nothing against it other than I wish it was a little bit shorter. Now I know I'm pretty short if you're new here I'm 159 which is approximately 5'3 for those of you in the US and I was both slightly shorter. Other than that, I think the dress is perfect. Now we're moving on to something much more fitting for the weather and it is this dress, which looks like this in real life. I am obsessed with this and this is one of the very few things that I have actually used before filming this video, so I already know that I like how it looks like on me, but let's try it on. This is what it looks like on and I am obsessed. I think it's gorgeous, it's really flattering, the size is just perfect for me and I don't know, I love it. By the way, the gloves are also from Bromwe, I got them a couple of months ago, I'm not sure if they will be still in stock but they were like $2, so if they are, I will try to find a link and write it down. By the way, as usual, I'm gonna add the links to everything I try on in the description box down below and I also have a discount code for you which is VES15. I don't make any money from it, but if you want to use it, you get 15% off your order no matter what you get. So it's always great to save even more money. Now back to the dress. I know I usually complain about Bromo stuff being way too long. This time is exactly the opposite. I think it's a little bit too short, but I love it. The other day I wore it and I had to wear a duster on top because the back is super short, especially because my ass is not precisely small, so it makes it even shorter than it is. But, I don't know, I think it's lovely. I am giving this one a 9 out of 10. I love it, but I know this is a doll skill knockoff, but I think the original is no longer in stock, which makes it kind of okay. But that's the only reason why I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. Otherwise, it would be a 10 out of 10, because it's just amazing and I'm in love with it. Next, I got these sandals, and I think they're amazing. I haven't seen anything like that before, so I don't think they're a knockoff, but correct me if I'm wrong. And this is what they look like in real life. I think they're super cute and the design is really lovely. When it comes to runway and sizes, make sure you check the size chart because they have very accurate measurements. So don't just get your usual shoe size because every time I get something from them, I pick a different size. And although I think they're awesome and the measurements are really accurate, the problem I have with them is that they are very wide. I personally have a very narrow feet, but these ones are even wider than usual, which means they are not going to be super comfortable to go out and walk around in them. For these reasons, I'm gonna give this one a 6 out of 10. I know this is something you could easily fix by adding something on the inside, but when you buy new shoes, you want to be able to wear them and not to have to fix them beforehand. So for that reason, I cannot go higher, I'm sorry. But if you want new shoes and want to find something affordable, don't worry because I found something else which is quite similar. It is this and I have them here. And I've got to say, these ones are super comfy. Now, this is what they look like in real life. I hope you can see them well. 
The platform is quite high, which I love, but they are very, very comfortable. I've used them at least four times already, and so far I'm loving them. I haven't seen any signs of wear or tear or anything weird, but so far I'm really happy with them. The quality, the comfort, the design, everything is perfect, and I seem to remember that they were quite affordable. These ones were a Chinese 39, but again, the measurements are the ones that match my feet, which means you should look at that and not at the number. Anyway, I think you already know I'm gonna give these ones a higher rate. So these ones are gonna be a 10 out of 10 because I'm obsessed with them and I am using them every single time I leave my house now. And uh, there's absolutely nothing negative I can say about them. Moving back to clothes, I got this over skirt. I know it looks more like a skirt on the web, but once you get it, you realize it's something you have to wear over a skirt or a dress, as it is almost completely transparent on the front and very short. However, I don't think that's a bad thing because it looks amazing on top of dresses or short skirts or shorts. You know, this is something that would go great with a corset and shorts, something like that. I know a few weeks ago, probably a few months ago, I did a video with my favorite festival outfits and I wore a similar overskirt. Of course it was vintage and super puffy and all of that, but a lot of you asked me where to get something in that style and that's something I've never been able to find in an affordable store. So this is a first <laughs> and I gotta say I'm really happy with it. Obviously it's not the same, but the price difference is huge and I think for the price this one looks amazing and it's definitely one of my favorite items I found on Romwe. So I would strongly recommend this one. I hope it's not sold out by the time this video goes up, but if it's not, uh, I strongly recommend it. I think it goes great with this dress, but I think with a garter belt and like thigh high nylons it would look amazing. So yeah, I'm obviously going to give this one a 10 out of 10 because I love the way it looks like on me. It's super comfy. By the way, it's not stretchy, so make sure to check the size chart because you don't have a lot of room for error in here. Uh, for me, it works great, which is uh, another reason why I'm going to give this a 10. Although it's not super tight and it could be a little bit tighter. It works pretty well and I have zero complaints about this item. I'm in love with it and considering the price, it is a great find. For the next outfit, I got this skirt again from the goth section and I've got to say this time, everything they had was amazing. If I didn't get more things, it was because they were not available in my size. As I mentioned before, their sizes are pretty big and sometimes they only go down to a size S. So I can't always get everything I like from them, but this time they really did it and there were a lot of things I liked. So the skirt is here and although I haven't tried it on yet, I really like it, but we need to get a top for this. And for that I got this one that I have here. So let's put all this on and I'll grow it back. Here is the full outfit and not so bad. Um, let's start with the skirt. I love it. The waistband is elastic, so it can accommodate a lot of different sizes. You can eat comfortably without it making you feel like you're gonna die. I think the fabric looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. And it feels, looks, everything just great. So I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. As I said, I'm surprised this time with one West Goth section because there were a lot of awesome finds. Now, let's talk about the top. I don't like it as much. Again, this is a doll scale knockoff. It's not so bad because I'm pretty sure this one was sold out and has been sold out for a very long time. But I have a lot of doll scale bras and tops like this. And now I have this. And the quality difference is gigantic. The previous dress was a really, really good copy, but this one, not so much, unfortunately. It is also not my size. It is super big. It is stretchy, so it should be kind of tight, but it is not. I have to keep my bra on because the fabric is super thin and also because it's quite big on me. 
and usually with the original ones you don't have to wear a bra necessarily if you don't want to because they have like underwires and all that and the fabric is slightly thicker and then the print also looks a little bit cheap so I don't know I think I'm gonna give this one a 5 out of 10 because I don't think it's a good copy and I am not necessarily super happy about it so Sorry, wrong way, but this one is a flop for me. If you like shoes as much as I do, you're gonna love the next item. I got these boots. I've been finding a lot of awesome shoes and boots on their web lately, so keep an eye on that section. And this is what they look like in real life. I've only tried them on, so I haven't used them to go out. But so far, in the 5-10 minutes I've used them, I think they're quite comfy as most of their shoes, honestly, except for the flop I tried on before today, everything I have from them is really, really nice and comfy. The design is really cute. They have like this little pierce in here, which I love. I know it's not super noticeable, but it's a nice little touch. They have some fishnets and, you know, lots of decoration all over. They have a zipper on the back. And the platform is quite high, which is, again, something I love because I'm tiny. This is a European 38, which is probably the first time that their sizes match my usual size. But, as I always say, take this size chart because it's super accurate and you're not going to have any problems if you go by that. I don't have anything bad to say about these. I don't remember the exact price, so my rate would depend on that. If they're affordable, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10 because they look really good but if they're not so affordable I think I'm going down to a 7 because they're not something I would pay more than $50 for. The next item is probably the thing I'm the most excited about in this haul and it is this gorgeous dress. It has those Morticia vibes that we all love. So far I'm seeing that it has some kind of shape here in the waist and hips so that's a good sign. Let's hope for the best and let's hope that it fits me right. Listen to me, run, don't walk to get this because it is <laughs> amazing. I'm surprised by how good this looks and fits me. It is super comfortable because the fabric is quite thin and it is stretchy, as you can probably see, hopefully. And it fits me like a glove. I really love the neckline here, which has like a metal part on the inside to keep the shape. Everything about it is just perfect. It is really difficult to find a dress like this that is affordable and looks good on. It actually looks good in real life. And I don't know, I'm a sucker for bodycon dresses, but especially if they look like this. Uh, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about it. I hope you like it as well. If you are looking for a Morticia style dress, this is probably the cheapest and best fit in thing you're gonna find and I'm honestly surprised because I wasn't sure what to expect. I was thinking it was gonna be a flop honestly and when I tried it on I thought it was amazing. Now the only slightly bad thing is that it's not super soft on the outside but that is because it has some kind of glittery fabric and that kind of fabric is usually not the softest shiny things and classic things are not usually the best match but for me it's not a problem at all you can barely see it because it's like it's not silver or super sparkly it's like black but shiny and that's something i personally like and other than it being not the softest ever i don't have anything bad to say about it i'm obviously gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 i think it is amazing and I'm super happy that I decided to get this. I was originally planning to add only summer outfits but I couldn't miss out on this one and I'm happy I didn't because I don't know, I just love it. This time not so many accessories caught my eye but I managed to find this belt which is not the most original thing ever but it is here. I've got to say, their belts and chokers and all that are quite thin, so you can obviously tell the difference between, let's say, something like this and something from Killstar, but Killstar belts are way too big for me and I cannot wear them on my waist. And this one, well, it's slightly big, 
it's not as bad and I can actually wear it even if it's not super tight. This is what it looks like on. I know this is not the best match but it's gonna have to do for this video and honestly it's a really nice fit. As usual I'm gonna have to add a hole in here because it's not as small but at least I can do it with most other belts, the metal clasps hit before I can find a right fit so even if I wanted to add an extra hole I wouldn't be able to do it or at least not to the point that it would fit me right. I can only give this one a 9 out of 10, it's still a pretty good rate which means I like it but it's not perfect, it could look a little less cheap and would also be a lot more expensive but you know, you get what you pay for and this time is not bad at all. I usually wouldn't want to get out of this dress but it's so hot in here that I'm kind of suffering. So let's move on to the next thing which is the last one. It is this skirt and I was honestly surprised to see something like this on Broadway. And here it is. So let me try this on. I have good and bad things to say about it. Okay, let's start with the bad. Um, I don't want to show too much but the panties. Um, are sewn together and you cannot remove them unless you cut them of course that is something I personally don't like I was hoping that either they came separately or they didn't came with anything at all so I could wear them with shorts underneath because honestly like I think it's okay but I don't feel comfortable wearing something like this to go out unless I was going to a festival or going to the beach but <laughs> other than very very specific situations this is not it for me and the fact that they come together makes it very difficult to wear them with shorts unless I cut them first, which is probably what I'm going to do with it anyway. But yeah, I'm going to have to cut it because I don't think I can wear this to go out all the way. But having said that, the good things are that it looks amazing, <laughs> the design is stunning, the metal clasps feel kind of sturdy and good quality. Once you close them, they feel feel like they're not gonna come down on their own, that you specifically have to open them. So, I don't know, I think I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 because even though the penny situation is not perfect for me, I've gotta say that the item is really lovely, it looks really good, so I cannot go lower than that. By the way, the top I'm wearing is also from them, but I got it quite a long time ago. So I'm not really sure if it's gonna be still in stock. I, if it is, I will find a link and write it down. I didn't find so many tops in my size this time, so I couldn't get anything specifically for this skirt, unfortunately. But I think I got a lot of lovely things, so I'm not gonna complain. That was everything for this video, I think. This time I got super lucky with almost everything I got. There were a couple of flops, but overall, everything was really good. Everything looked like in the pictures. The quality was amazing. Now looking back at the beginning of their alternative phase, it wasn't so good, they only had like a couple of skull and Halloween prints here and there but now they are really really nailing it and I think it's really worth it to check out their goth section I've gotten comments from people saying that they don't find anything plus size in that section so my advice is to find keywords that would match goth items because I know that their goth section only has small, medium, large for the most part but if you look like let's say a velvet dress you will find things like the dress I was wearing at the beginning of the video in plus size and if you look for corsets there are a ton of plus size corsets more than let's say for my size so it's really worth it to check out like some relevant keywords and give it a go because they have an amazing plus size section sometimes there are things that I can find for me and I really wish I could find them in my size so I know it's not as easy as just going directly there but they have a lot of options Anyway, don't forget that you can use my discount code, which is VES15, to save 15% on your order, whatever you get from them. And I really hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, because it really helps me. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!